This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Welcome. Hey, my babies. Bienvenue. Welcome. Bienvenidos to all my lovely babies. I'm so happy y'all are back to Betty Q Nails. So you see, we still rocking the Pride Month set, honey. It is Pride Month, not Pride Day, darling. Today we are going to finally work on this overlay that I've been having on this right hand. Um, I've been trying to just grow out and just be simple on my right hand, which is my dominant hand, and just trying to put some basic overlays on. So, what I had was some Long Hair Pretty Nails by Evie Patty Gel. And I had that on the right hand, just a thin, you know, cute little overlay. And I've had that for a few weeks. So, it's time. So, we're going to do a fill and a change of color. We're using um, my sanding band, which is, I believe, 180 grit. And we are just going to go along the sides, go along the cuticle area, thin that out. If there's any lifting or you see anything that looks like lifting, you know, just go ahead and dremel that as well as you can because that could affect the next application and you do not want that. And what we're gonna do is basically just thin it out to a decent point before we do our fill, which is going to be a different color and design. So it's basically kind of like how you do a fill with acrylic, except we're doing a color change. So with acrylic, yes, you would have to just dremel it down to a certain point and then, you know, fill with a new color um yeah i hope pride month is treating all of you fabulously um i believe this weekend is proud in the cloud which is our pride fest which is really just you know a little small pride parade here in saint cloud florida so that's pretty fierce and i can't wait to show off my nails and I've already gotten a couple compliments. You know, I don't really go out. Like, I work from home. I go out maybe once or twice a week out of the house. Like, literally outside of the property. Um, I do leave the house every day just to walk the dogs, but that's in the backyard. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. I hope it, it's fun. I hope it's not, like, deathly hot because, you know, I'm living in the devil's taint that is florida <laughs> um but yeah while this is happening while we are drumming i want to thank you so much to everybody who left beautiful supporting kind words under my last video which was part of my coming out story I didn't include the entire thing because we probably would have been here for a while, which is fine. You know, I might do a follow up of some sort and, you know, or, you know, if you want to know something, you know, you guys can ask questions. Um, you know, just don't get too personal, Chad. But, you know, I'm look, I'm pretty much an open book. Um, people think I'm very reserved, which I am, but you know, I just, I'm just not, I don't like to give it up. <laughs> you know, you got to ask first. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to all the lovely, beautiful diamond cubs that I have that are my loyal subscribers. And remember, subscribing is free. So all you got to do is click that red button. And if you really like me, then you can click the bell notification button. So like, when I upload a video, you guys will be getting like a notification, be like, yo, 
BetEQ Nails just uploaded a video and you need to check it out and like it and share it. <laughs> uh, I'm on another one today. I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed to Barry Key Nails. You know, we're almost at 300 subscribers. That's really exciting. Um, without your support, it wouldn't be possible. Now, y'all know I'm a hustler. So now I know y'all see me in other people's comments, maybe, or y'all see me in your comments. I don't have a really good memory. Uh, so like yeah, unless you're a person that is commenting on every single video which i do have you know a good handful of people that you know consistently comment on every video and i know those people are subscribed um but there are some that you know don't comment on every single video and youtube doesn't notify you who likes your video so there's really no way of me knowing if you have seen it or of me knowing and you know what's weird too that YouTube it doesn't give you notifications about everybody that has subscribed to you so somebody might subscribe and it might pop up saying oh this person subscribed to you but then another person might and it won't come up so I think it might have to do with privacy settings or something along those lines but um, I really do apologize if I come across pushy or like bruh you just asked me that like last week i do apologize i just want to make sure that everybody that is here commenting is you know a member of us and genuinely enjoys our content and wants to stick around so i like to remind people like hey if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe you know, I've had a couple people say they forget or maybe that they thought they were, but they're not. You know, I just want this community to grow. I want us to be a force. Betty Q nails and nails in general are like an armor that we put on. And we enjoy putting it on and it's fun and it's freeing to express creativity it's just awesome i've never really had an outlet that i enjoy um expressing or you know really doing anything artistic nails are really the first thing that i really enjoy um i got into graphic arts and communications technology in high school and things like that and i loved doing those type of things um you know those were more manual type labor things like making your own rubber stamps or making plexiglass signs or um i don't know making calendars like i liked crafty things like that but honestly doing nails has really upped the level for me and i'm glad i found it and honestly i'm glad that i found a community of people that are nice and you know just genuinely like you as a person and um just like the things you do uh so yeah <laughs> uh thank you again to everybody uh I apologize if I ask you if you've subscribed. And like I said, I, I don't have the greatest memory. So I have to just double check, I guess. Um, and if you are new here, I'm sorry if that bummed you out or brought you down. Um, sometimes that happens. Uh, I get a little deep in my feelings. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're new here, I really hope that you take that little second and click the subscribe button and like the video and if you know another nail enthusiast share the video they might get something from it um all right so let's get back to this so uh i've used my dremel my e-file i've filed everything off 
Um, I dusted it off with my little beautiful flower um, brush. Now I'm using uh, some Swipe from Young Nails, which is a dehydrator cleanser. And I'm using that to get rid of all the dust, all the debris, any extra oils that have accumulated on the nail, and just cleaning off everything in general. So now I'm taking my cuticle pusher and I'm doing a little extra pushing back just to make sure that I have exposed all dead skin and buildup and all that cuticle under there because I definitely do not want any of that. And it looks like we are switching our bits. And let's see, I'm like, I'm excited. I don't remember what I selected. Ooh, all right. So this is a cuticle, a cuticle bit. Now I use this around the edges to lift up the cuticle, uh, lift up the cuticle skin fold um, it also you know separates any product that was attached to your skin from the nail and it just it gives you like a nice clear channel around your nail so it, it cleans up the side walls and it gives you a nice clear surface in order for you to start over and do a new application so I just repeat this step. I go down each side and around the cuticles. I try to go under the skin fold a bit in case any product went under there and you know, get it nice and clean. So we're just about finished up here and take this swipe again. These are still a little immersed, a little moist. Who else does not like the word moist? A lot of people don't like that word. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know, there's the sound of it moist. Moist. I probably just freaked a couple people out. I'm so sorry. But yeah. I, I don't care but some of these are still a little moist so I'm just you know going ahead and I'm taking those and just going ahead and cleansing all the nail beds um, closing that closing up that and moving her out the way oh lord I know y'all hear Jacks in the background for those that have asked and sent their healing wishes, thank you so much. Jax is out of the cone of shame. He is doing a lot better, obviously, as you can hear. Oh, Jesus, that dog, so loud. He barks at up. He'll, if he sees an ant, he'll bark at it. Anyway, so we're gonna be using our patty gel. Uh, base and top coat today um since i've already used the swipe to dehydrate and cleanse my nail beds i'm going to use the protein bond from young nails which um is also used or known as a primer and it's like it works as a double-sided sticky tape so it gets everything adhered well so you want to make sure you get this all over the surface of your nail and it is the best in my opinion primer that I've worked with I've used a few others um, this is the only one that legit I have had no lifting at all and I mean, I don't know if it's just my prep that's gotten better, but 
I definitely think that this protein bun helps a little bit. Sorry, Jax is here and I'm trying to like look at him like, can you shut up? Be quiet, boy. Dead in working. Shoot. All right, so we're taking the protein bond. And uh, I don't know, some people do two layers. One layer is enough for me. You know, one is enough to just get it good, you know? And you just let this air dry. Why is every loud vehicle coming by right now? The street sweeper coming by now, jeez. All right, so now that the primer or protein bond has dried, we are gonna take the patty gel base coat and we're just going to apply a nice thin layer across all of our nails. This will give us a nice even surface for our enhancement or overlay to adhere. So this is definitely an important step. I love Evie's products. I know if y'all on my channel, I know y'all know her. Evie from her channel on YouTube and on Instagram, long hair, pretty nails is the username. So this is her product. You know, she started out with her own line of hybrid gels or acro gel, poly enhancement gel, whatever you want to call it, poly gel. Her brand is called Patty Gel. And she came out this year with her base and top coat. And we all know Evie likes a nice thick formulation. She doesn't like things to be slipping and sliding and flooding stuff. So I was so excited when I got this. I literally ordered it like the minute she released it. And I tried to do a video the minute I got it in the mail. That was silly. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I'm applying a base coat to everything. got the base coat on um now I don't know if this is because I think I might be just putting on too much that it still ends up kind of running down the sides or it could be because it's so deathly hot here in Florida but um I take my little you know little wooden uh, cuticle stick and I just go along the sides and I do a little swipe just to clear anything out that has been pooling up and I'm putting that in the lamp. So Neo, we did that. I think I said I was originally gonna do it for two minutes, but one minute is sufficient for her base coat, and top coat actually. So um, I've got my slip solution. Today we're using 91% alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. This little generic squeeze bottle that I got from the salon, beauty salon, beauty, blah, blah, blah the beauty supply store um, was just like, you know, generically labeled with the 70 something percent. Um, so I'm just putting that away, getting all my stuff. I got my little beautiful patty gel brush with the spatula and the brush. So if I'm sure y'all have seen the, the title of the video. 
um, we're going to be doing uh, an overlay. So we're going to be doing an overlay using the McCart Nail Extension Gel in this beautiful black. And y'all see this ring? Isn't it cute? I actually made it with Hubby. Um, he made one and I made one and I used this poly extension gel to make this ring. So look at that. Cute little, little decor. Now I will tell you these rings do not last forever, especially when you have crazy dogs like mine. But it was cute, right? I can't believe I made it from a ring. It was like, oh my God. So we're using Cosmo Black from McCart. This is a black-ish poly gel. I mean, it is black, obviously, but it's not like a solid, solid black. So that's how it can cure because obviously a solid, solid black probably would not get any light through it. But anyways, so I'm gonna do a solid black on my thumb, middle finger, my pinky. Now, I just started seeing this technique being used I was always taught or saw and shown to work your poly gel with the spatula and then use the brush with a slip solution so recently I've been seeing a lot of people say that using the orange the little uh, cuticle stick uh, manicure stick works phenomenally for placing the poly gel and spreading it where you want it and then using the poly gel brush to smooth the surface and kind of give a finishing touch. So that's what you're seeing here. Um, I'm dipping anytime I feel the manicure stick stick to the poly gel. If I you know, start feeling it getting sticky, then I'll dunk the wooden stick into the alcohol, which I'm using as the slip solution. So nothing gets stuck to it. And I'm just patting and dragging a little bit. You know, it's, I'm just trying to make it look as nice as I can. You know, I don't want any dips. I don't want any areas that are chunkier than others. You know, so I'm just going around using the flat part that has, it has like a pointy, it looks like a needle, honestly. It's what a needle looks like, it has a point, but a flat. Um, point side to it and I'm using that flat end to just pat down and pull the poly gel where I need it and honestly the techniques work the technique works very well in my opinion um, you can obviously just use the brush but I after doing this a couple times I definitely see the benefit in using the wooden stick i definitely feel like you get more precision you don't get as much flooding of the alcohol even though i mean the alcohol is just going to evaporate but you know i find sometimes when i use a brush um sometimes i maybe have too much alcohol in the brush and it might flood the entire area so i gotta just shake it off and dry it a little bit so you know it's just a personal thing Everybody has their techniques or ways of doing things in their preference. So as you can see now, I'm, I just took it and I'm, I dipped it in the slip solution and I'm just, just gently going over the surface, brushing it from the cuticle to the free edge, getting it as even and flat as possible. Um, you see me trying to make sure that the free edge is not bulky and you know there's not any or too much hang over of extra product and if there is i just take that off and i'll keep it on the um the spatula until my next nail and just make sure it's nowhere near the uv light or led light um or i would put it on the next finger but since this is poly gel um and it's hot and I'm you know I don't know body heat obviously will heat the product up so um, 
don't want to put that little bead on my middle finger because I'm going to cure my thumb as soon as I'm done with it. So alright, so I'm just checking my angles, checking my angles, making sure she looks decent, honey. Okay. Alright, you know, pretty simple square nail. I'm turning on the machine for one minute and I'm just sticking my hand in and I'm just gonna let that cure for 60 seconds so I can set that. It's not gonna run anymore on my finger because of the body heat and heat in the room. And here we go. So as you can see, it's not a completely opaque black. Um, it does allow some of the natural or whatever color you had underneath to peek through a bit. So you do see a little pink from my last set under there. So as you can see, I already did my middle finger and my pinky. I'm taking Marshmallow by um, Patty Gel, Long Hair Pretty Nails, and the McCart in Cosmic Black. And I'm gonna do a little half and half moment. Y'all y'all remember the black and white cookie? Y'all know the black and white cookie? I'm gonna do something like that on my fingers. Also a yin and yang symbol but without the dots so that's why I said the cookie and I kind of want a cookie now do y'all remember do you remember I don't know if any of y'all watch Seinfeld do you remember Seinfeld um one episode they were going to a dinner party and Jerry and Elaine went to a bakery and he was like oh I gotta get the black and white cookie it's two races coming together in harmony and then he gets sick from it, like, really? <laughs> I miss. Um, so, yes, so, I'm taking the poly gel and I'm placing it on half of my index finger. And I'm, you know, just trying my best to get it in a decent shape where, you know, it's looking like it's about half the nail. And I don't want to do too much filing, if any, to like crispen up the edge or whatever. So I'm really doing my best to make sure that that line is nice and crisp and that the rest of the nail is laying nice and flat and cool. So y'all can already kind of see what I'm trying to do. So you see it's going to be half black and then the empty space is going to be filled with the marshmallow shade from Long Hair Pretty Nails. So yeah, you can see I'm trying to look at all angles to make sure that it is looking decent-ish. You know, I'm, I like poly gel just because you get the chance to really work it as much as you can to an extent because your body heat is going to end up warming it up. And then if your room is hot too, I mean, that's just, it's just fire being blown at your poly gel. But, um... 
I like that you can really form it and work it as much as you need to to try and get a really great final shape so then once you get to the filing part of your nail enhancement process it's not gonna be that long it's not gonna be a lot of filing um, so look I cured it um, I cured it for a minute I'm gonna do the same thing on the ring finger except the opposite way so here we go as you can see um, for those that don't know, any poly gel is going to cure with a tacky layer. So right now, all my fingers still have the tacky layer on them. I didn't wipe them off. You would wipe it off with swipe, alcohol, any one of those. But um, I'm waiting until the end to do that. Now I'm going to just take a little scoop of the Marshmallow Long Hair Pretty Nails Patty Gel. And I'm just going to, you know drop that onto the nail and use the little cuticle mani manicure stick to place it and move it around to where I need it to try and get that good overlay look and try to get it that middle line kind of sharp you know I wanted something classic and simple on the right hand nothing too outrageous because um, my nails have been thinning, you know, I have not been taking my own advice in terms of <laughs> removals before, uh, and just recently I really started trying to leave product on my natural nail so I don't dremel too far down, and it's definitely working. So, you know, I might just keep doing these shorties a little bit because... I really want to try and get these nails on the right hand a little healthier. So, um, oh, and the reason why also not because I, you know, the thinning alone, but I did have, a, I guess you can call it an injury. I had one of the dogs, we were playing outside and the nail kind of like knocked. And when I, when the nail lifted, it actually broke, like kind of snapped the nail in the middle. Oh, that hurt, but um, yeah, so I'm just want to make sure everything grows out and grows out healthy and better. So as you see, I took the brush, child, I'm having a hard time picking it up, but um, I took the brush and I'm trying to work a little faster since this one, I find her patty gel is a little stiffer and easier to work with in the same kind of temperatures it's easier to work with than the McCart one so I'm just trying to you know work quick ish and uh, apply that white marshmallow patty gel to my index finger now
Okay, so just about finishing up with the brush and the smoothing out of everything. I remember I don't want to try to do a lot of filing, so um, I'm just trying to get it as nice and flat as possible. I'm going to put it in for a full two minutes now since this is going to be the final cure. So that's what we have so far. I think it looks nice. It's simple. It's cute. It's cute. Um, so yeah, I'm take. I don't. Did I take swipe? At this point, you can use the alcohol. Um, I had the swipe right there, so I decided to use the swipe. So what I'm doing is removing the tacky layer. It's a sticky layer that kind of rises from the bottom of the potty uh potty jesus christ the pat the pa i cannot speak it is a sticky layer that kind of raises from the bottom of the patty gel and kind of rises to the surface as it cures and you just have to wipe that off just before you do anything otherwise it's going to be a sticky mess lint is going to get stuck on everything and it's not cute By the way, has anybody ever tried those lint-free nail wipes from Young Nails? I'm not gonna lie, they are wonderful. Like, it's a great product, but like, they break pretty easy. Like, I don't know if y'all can see while I'm wiping, like while I wipe, I guess, I don't know if the alcohol disintegrates some of the paper, or what, but I'm like, and it says that it's eight ply. I'm like, can y'all cut that down to like maybe four ply and just make it a little stronger? But whatever. Anyway, so we zoomed out a little bit, honey. Now that we uh, did the swipe and cleanse the nails and removed that sticky surface, now we're just gonna take our. Um, I'm taking a brand new sanding band. Now, normally you're supposed to, uh, you should season your sanding band by just rubbing it on another uh, hand file, but I didn't do that. But just be very careful if you are gonna use a brand new file, brand new sanding band, anything like that, be very careful around your skin because the edges of these things are very sharp and can and will cut you. <laughs> so you better have a septic pencil or that little green liquid, what's it called? Infalab, little magic touch. That little green liquid to stop bleeding. Yeah. So um, I'm doing this around all the edges, the sides, and the cuticle area, getting it nice and smooth. Trying to smooth out the top as well. Since it's a brand new sanding band, it's gonna work really well. I don't, might not have to use an actual hand file. So I'm just gonna go over the surfaces of all the nails, make sure they're even and looking cute and snitched.
right, so we're just about finishing up with the sanding band. Um, as you can see, I'm just going across some of the free edges with it, um, just to use the power of the machine to try and, you know, use uh, to shorten a little bit and even out. And I think we're just about done almost. Sometimes I adjust the speed. Um, sometimes certain areas may be a little thicker than others. You know, um, like I said, I'm not a professional. So sometimes, you know, there might be some dips or something. So sometimes I might have to turn up the RPMs on the e-file in order to uh, get it sanded down. So it's all, you know, it's a, a, a practice thing and an application practice thing. You know, so once I get better at applying the poly gel, I, you know, I won't have to do as much adjustment in my speed of filing because all the sides would be the same. Or almost. So we're just about done with that. And we are going to, yeah, we're skipping the rest of the drill and we're going to just use our, this is a 60, 60, I think, grit hand file. I like to use these, make sure I support the nail by holding it with another nail try and just even out make sure that there's no angle and I'm you know everything is parallel and sharp did all of our filing and uh, I cleansed I washed my hands and all that fun stuff so that's all done I wanted to get all that dust up so I you know washed my hands really good with you know a brush and soap and scrubbing everywhere underneath and everything so now I'm taking some of the base coat of the patty gel again and you can really see the color come through. The black with the shimmers and the McCart poly gel is so pretty. And even Evie's patty gel and marshmallow, the white, it does have some shimmer and sparkle in it as well because everything is better with sparkle. We love glitter, glitz, shine, glamour, honey. I'm just taking that base coat. I'm going all around the entire nail, capping the free edge. We don't want any lifting. <laughs> Had a little flooding here, so I'm just taking my manicure stick and I'm dragging it out. Any of the excess. <laughs> my goodness, this dog. Yo, it, does any do any of y'all have a dog that will not stop barking at people like they ain't even doing nothing like it's somebody getting out of their car next door and walking into their house <laughs> do y'all have a dog that does that have y'all found a solution because we about to get him a, a shot collar <laughs> No, not a shot collar. I find those to be a little too much, I feel. <laughs> but 
we even tried to do the little Caesar Milan, you know, that little, that little thing you do when you like do a little, you do a little bite at their neck with your fingertips. And that's what Caesar Milan does, but that don't work, child. We over here all over the place and nothing's happening. The dogs just look like, why are you poking me? <laughs> oh my God, the faces we have gotten from Jax by doing that. It's like, bruh, can you stop? You're distracting me from barking. Awesome. So we are just about finished. Now we're gonna pop this in the lamp. Look how cute. They're so nice. And I put that in for one minute. So you can kind of see where, you know, see where my mind's headed. Don't they look like them little black and white cookies? Um, so now um, just for like a little added something, like, I look at it now and I'm kind of like, it didn't need it, but, um, I'm going to get some liner from, how do you pronounce this? Rajism? 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 <laughs> but I'm using some of their, what is it called? is Rajism Gel Nail Art Liner. And this is supposed to be like those diamond effects or glitter effect ones, flash effect. So I'm taking some of the silver one and just on the two nails that have the black and white, I'm just doing a thin line down the center just to kind of like blur that line of demarcation a bit so it's not as harsh um now that i look at now that i think about it i'm saying it like that it's actually better that i have it because if not it would just been like a straight line and i think that would have bothered me so i'm kind of glad that i did this now <laughs> so uh yeah i just took a thin line of that liner ran it across the line of demarcation between the black and the white and that adds some sparkle between the two and brings it together, I feel. What y'all think? In the lamp for one minute. All right, so y'all can see it, right? So it, it kind of like blurred the line a little bit. So it, you know, it's not a harsh, separate line between the black and the white there's a nice unison harmony i like the shine i love it so now we are getting towards the end uh, my loves we're getting towards the end of the video uh, 
Oh my gosh. Well, look, since our time in this video is almost coming to an end, while I'm applying Evie's fabulous top coat, take a second right now, if you haven't, please check and make sure that you're subscribed to Berry Q Nails. Like the video if you haven't yet. And if you are watching on TV or something, maybe hop on your phone, leave a comment. Um, I don't know. Turn on those bell notifications if you don't got them on so you can get notified every time I post a new video. I've got some exciting things coming up. I'm excited. Um, as y'all know, I just did my first Born Pretty PR. Um, I have another one coming from Born Pretty and I actually have another set coming from a different company. So I'm excited to share those with you. Um, and we'll see what we can come up with, you know? <laughs> um, I'm happy that, you know, some companies are taking note to all the times that I tag them in all of my posts. I tag them in my videos. I send collaboration requests. I think I've, I've sent maybe over 30 emails, you know, and, you know, it's just the thing of being patient and, you know, nobody really wants to give away anything for free to a small YouTube channel. And, you know, right now I am a small YouTube channel that I'm proud of. You know, we've gotten to almost 300 subscribers. I'm so proud of that. You know, I've found each and every single one of you either personally or was referred to by somebody else that I have come across first hand. And I'm so thankful for those connections. I hope y'all continue to do that. Let's branch out and continue sharing and grow our Barry Q Nails family. I really hope we can take this to the next level, honeys. So we are just about done with applying that top coat. We're gonna pop that in the lamp for two minutes to get that full cure. And look at that. So now, I know y'all have seen me do this before with other sets, I do it every time. I like to apply a top coat to the underneath of the nails as well, just because I feel like it adds a little protection, it adds some shine underneath the nail. So whatever color you decided to use, you can see it from underneath as well. Um, I'm not using Evie's top coat for underneath the nail because that top coat is pretty thick and since these are not long nails i don't really want too much product getting under there and possibly flooding underneath my nail so i'm using this top coat from this company that i got off of timu it's called missidy m-i-s-i-d-y and i'm using their super top coat their top coat is a little less viscous um, it's almost a little, it's a little thicker than water, maybe, you know, like, a, like a normal beverage, it's thicker than that. So it's not too thick, 
but it's thin enough that I can apply it underneath my nail and I know that it's not gonna flood or you know create any bulk underneath but still leave me with a good shine and protection underneath so now I'm gonna pop those underneath and pop that in the lamp for another two minutes and this is what we came up with honeys I, I got crap on my hands child but you know me we gotta top it off with some cuticle oil cuticle oil and any good hydrating cuticle oil is great. I got this from my beauty supply store and it smells wonderful. It leaves my skin so soft. It really does hydrate and nourish the cuticle skin around the edge. Um, and it's great. I love it. It feels awesome and smells really good again, I'll say. But this is what we have. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed doing this. This was another one of, you know, I don't do much poly gel videos, especially sculpting from the get go. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I send love and light to you all. Love to each and every single one of you. Let me zoom out so y'all can see that heart a little better. And I'm pushing love and positivity out to each and every one of you. And I hope y'all receive it in health and positivity and prosperity. Love y'all. Peace.